Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. We're here with the second Trail of Delicacies challenge, which I believe goes by the name of Path of the Gentle Breeze. As the name implies, and as the previous video implied that I uploaded, it's to do with the Mondstadt kind of version of the Moonlight Merriment event, uh, where the previous one was we went through Mondstadt collecting the charms and chests. Now we're here with the bandit camps, like monster camps, uh, killing them, going from uh, the start to finish over here, killing different encampments of enemies. Now obviously like the previous one, which was the Path of Stalwart Stone, you can put in certain foods to get certain buffs. Now going over it, offering two of these delicacies, uh, you get a buff which defeating an opponent during the challenge increases your own party member's damage by 6%, which is quite a large percent, uh, for 90 seconds, so it's very good, uh, to a max stack of 10, so a total of 60% overall damage boost, so I highly recommend to make this event a lot easier, I highly recommend you guys actually uh, offer at least two delicacies. Uh, if you offer four delicacies while gliding, your characters will restore 10% HP every second. Quite cool, actually quite a good uh, little delicacy here if you're a person who doesn't have a healer, if you don't have a barber or a Noel or something like that, or a Jean or a Chi Chi or whatever you have. Uh, if you don't have any of those, then this is actually a pretty good one to go get if you just wanted to run like four DPSs. Uh, but you know, don't feel too pressed to get that because it's just healing. And then obviously at the end, you have the Hero's Wit and 20,000 Mora, which is still, uh, I agree that it's a very underwhelming reward, but if you want to get a bit more of a boost, then by all means, go ahead and give five delicacies. Now obviously jump down to the bottom right, we're going to offer up the Delicious Mushroom Skewer, Delicious Tabat Fried Egg, and that gives us our second buff, or our first buff, sorry. Delicious Sweet Madame, Delicious Flaming Red Bolognese, and just because I have it, we're going to give the Hash Brown as well. And we're going to get these hero wit and 20,000 mora. All right, so now you're going to just click on the first starting point here on the left, and you're going to go into the wit, and you're going to get 10 primo gems per uh, encampment to a total of 60. And then you're just going to click go to challenge, and it's going to mark it on the map for you. I'm already there, so we're just going to start it up real quick by exiting out of all these different menus. And uh, again, like like the previous one, I'm just going to do this in a time lapse fashion. So let's just start it up. These things are very slow, I'm just gonna be honest. These wind currents are super slow. I feel like they could have just made a shoot. Like, you know, instead of just like separating them, I could just make a, like a straight shoot. And I feel like that would have been nice, but that's just my opinion. Here we go. Easy, was it? 
and uh, it's. I don't know what happened there. Um, oh, we got enough further to complete the quest. I see. I see. Uh, nothing important then. Oh, big boy. And we go up to the thing. And there you have it, guys. That is the Trail of Delicacies for the Path of Gentle Breeze, I believe it's called. Uh, jumping over here, we are... Oh, wh wh whoops, wrong one. Uh, we obviously just did it there, got all of them done. And if you did notice on screen, we did get another one of those Emperor's Balsams, which goes towards the uh, Luxurious Sea Lord refinement. Now, if you've done everything, like collecting the charms and whatnot up till now, you will have a max... Oh, not a, sorry, not a max rank. A rank 4... Uh, Luxurious Sea Lord, which gives you 21% uh, elemental burst damage and 175% attack as AoE damage every 15 seconds when you hit them with your elemental burst. Again, I said this in the previous video and I'll say it until I make the video, but I will eventually, uh, when this gets to refinement rank 5, I'll make a comparison video and just kind of a showcase video on the actual weapon, uh, comparing it to other weapons like uh, more free-to-play weapons because I'm a free-to-play player for the most part. Uh, I'll be comparing the Luxurious Sea Lord to weapons like the Snow Tombed Star Silver and the Prototype Archaic, which are some of the uh, better weapons out there uh, in terms of being a free-to-play player. I'll be using, uh, for example, uh, on this account, I'll, I can showcase it on Eula and potentially Razor, uh, but I will also try to get it on my other account where I have a Deluxe, so I can showcase it there as well. But that is not for this video, that is for a different video. This video was about showing the little encampment sieging, uh, and that is what I have done. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. Also consider subscribing down below to support me. If you haven't already, ring that bell so you can stay notified of when I upload next, so you can see more Genshin Impact content. But anyway, have an amazing day, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.